Hi, my name is Charles Quang and I'm a chiropractor. And the whole purpose of why I am a chiropractor is I want to help people. And as I continue to help people, I found out that there were certain health problems that people still could not find a solution for. They have insurance to go to a medical doctor. The medical doctor says there's nothing that can be done. The biggest thing I found was eye floaters. This was a very common thing that occurred with people who came to see me. So we found out that the majority of the eye floaters can actually be handled. Eye doctor said, there's nothing wrong with your eye. You'll be fine. You can still see. But you and I know that you actually have something blocking your eye. You have something blocking your vision and it's getting worse. And so let's go and understand what it is that we're handling so we actually know how to handle this. The first thing we look at is eye floaters. are actually bits and pieces of protein that are stuck in your eye. When bits and pieces of protein, it could be toxins, it could be something that your body just naturally makes in the eye, but it just can't be flushed out. So we're going to have an eye. Okay. And here's the cornea. This is where the light comes through. And then we have the retina. So what we know is the light comes through the eye, it goes right through the space, and it contacts our retina. And that's how we see. And the other thing we also know is that what we found out was when people have eye floaters, the majority of people have eye floaters right in the middle. Sometimes to the sides, but when they actually call the office and ask for help is when those little specks of dust actually have turned into bigger clumps. Okay? It started with little specks and then it got clumped. And so when that happens, it tells people, now my problem is getting worse. And why it got worse is because these clumps stayed in the eye too long and they start to attract each other. So they start forming attractions. What happens is when they attract each other, they come together and now they form these clumps. And the, as these clumps are left in there, it now becomes bigger clumps. And it can get to a point where the eye floaters are so big, it will restrict your vision. And the other part you might not realize is the bits and pieces of inflammation and proteins that are stuck to the bottom of the eye. So when that happens, you're going to have to be on the program a lot longer to clean up this entire eye. So the first step what we do is we assess to make sure you can actually participate in the program. Does our program, does our treatment actually work for your eye filter condition? So the first thing is, we determine if this program is actually going to help you. So after we determine it's a yes, our program can help you, we're going to now start you on the program. The first step of the program is we're going to unblock circulation. Unblocking circulation is very important because somewhere in here, in the eye, there are little channels. And these channels 
are not part of the vision, but they actually allow circulation to go in and out of your eye. And there's a block somewhere where these channels are not circulating properly. And if they were, these proteins would have actually been flushed out. So the first step of the program is we actually have to unblock the circulation so that we now know that these areas are now open. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to increase circulation. So once the unblocked circulation is done, we're going to now increase circulation. Now some people actually tell us that they see a change while the circulation is being unblocked. That's step number two here. And that's not everybody, but that's a good sign because now we know that a circulation just is starting. Once you unblock the circulation, now the circulation has a chance to start working on its own. So we know that's a good sign. Some people tell us they see changes as you increase circulation, and that's a good sign too, because that means that the circulation is now increasing, and what they see is these clumps of eye floaters are now breaking up into smaller bits, the smaller bits that they used to be. So they're going backwards, and that's what we want. What's going to happen is these smaller bits will get small and they're going to leave the eye. And that's how we eliminate our body's eye floaters. Now to completely eliminate all the inflammation and the proteins that are in here, what we have to focus on is now eliminate inflammation. So when we eliminate inflammation, we're looking at all these little proteins, they might actually be something that shouldn't be there. They're not just regular waste that your eye makes. It's actually things that are maybe candida, they might be heavy metals, they might be a parasite, they might be have, um, chemicals, but they're in the eye and we have to eliminate the inflammation. And this part here has actually two parts. We eliminate through kidneys, and we eliminate through liver. Now during this process, during these two parts, there are actually individual steps. You eliminate inflammation through the kidneys first, and as that starts to progress, most people will start to see some changes. Now if you don't see the changes, that's okay because once we're on the eliminate inflammation through the liver, then you're going to see your changes that you and I are looking for. So you can see that at every step of the way, certain people are going to get better and then some people might have to wait because of what's actually in the eye. There's different particles in the eye blocking your vision. We actually don't know what it is. What we do know is we can unblock the circulation. That's over here. And some people respond very quickly. They actually see changes. And those who don't, when we increase circulation, that's when the flushing process starts. And that's when the clumps disperse. And now people see changes there. Now those who don't see changes will now know that we're dealing with inflammation that's in the eye, trapped in the eye, and they can't come out. So now we have to go on to the eliminate inflammation through the kidneys. And this will break down the clumps so that it gets eliminated through the kidneys and it's going to eliminate inflammation through the liver. Okay. Once that is done, 
you are home free. What's going to happen afterwards is the fifth step, which is actually increasing your immune system, is going to strengthen the circulation. So every step of the way here, we were actually moving very specific steps because we want control, total control of the program. This, we, we also know we can't hurt you. We can't make things worse. Because of, the cir uh, because of the way we do this, it's a gradient way. We know we're not gonna make things worse. Okay? And then once we're done with eliminating the eye floaters, now we can actually increase your body's immune system, which will keep these guys from being unblocked. We're going to strengthen the circulation so whatever goes in and whatever comes out is the same, and that keeps the floaters from accumulating in the eye. Now, some people actually have a complication. Not everybody, some people. They have excess inflammation in their body somewhere. So we're going to talk about that on our next video. Thank you.